Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! Hopefully, we can finish up all the side quest stuff today, and I've got a lot of star pieces. So let's go to Shooting Star Summit and give Merlo his uh, letter, get some star pieces, or rather, trade our star pieces for badges. And I need to figure out where the last couple of star pieces are. I believe there are two that I am unaware of their locations. But fortunately for us... Oh, shoot. We need money. Hopefully five coins is enough for a star piece fortune. You're Mervo, correct? I'm Paracary, and we've got a letter for you. Letter for me? For, for Merle and Starborn Dally? Wow! News for my dad! Thanks, Mr. Postman. My dad writes all the time because he worries about me. My sisters and I are totally bad about writing back, though. Maybe I ought to write him a little more often, huh? This is a treasure that I've kept for a long time. I'm going to give it to you as thanks. You could always come back and swap me something for it. And we get the star piece. All right. Flower saver. And HP drain. So HP Drain decreases Mario's attack power by 1, but it restores 1 HP per, per turn. Not terribly great. So yeah, last uh, st um, badge costs 10 star pieces, we've only got 8. Gotta find out where those other two are. Oh, please be only 5 coins. Ah, my my, I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Mer Lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Yes. Yes! Five coins. You can also do it for badges and super blocks. Wah! Twinkle light, twinkle bright. Wah! Pain. Woo! Poi. Wah, wah, wah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Master star filled my eyes with the light that which I seek. I see a star piece. After arriving on Lava Lava Island, make your way across a sandy beach, passing palm trees as you go. You smash a tree on the right side of a spinning flower, and a piece drops down to you. Okay. It's in a coconut tree. I thought all coconut trees had coconuts, but one is a star piece. Alright. So my goals for my goals for this episode, get all the star pieces, get all the badges for Merlo, max out my level. And, oh, uh, yeah, get the last uh, recipe. I'm going to need more money. I'm going to sell my jelly pop. Oh, I only get 100 coins for the Jelly Pop? Are you serious? Oh well. That's enough. Yeah, I also have to get my little oink item. Alright, it's to the right of a spinning flower. I can find that. Hi, Yoshis! Okay. That was simple enough. Very well hidden, that. Because every other coconut tree has, well, coconuts. Alright, let's get our little oink item. And watch as I squeal with delight. <laughs> And a silver one? Oh, Dane. Another silver one? Those give jam and jellies, and those are good too.
All right. Yep, so the white one took off because he was the first one in. He leaves the super shroom behind. Black one leaves, leaves a drive shroom behind. Does this mean you could potentially get multiple items from Little Oinks? Because the Super Shroom hasn't disappeared yet. Okay, now it did. Alright, pink one leaves, leaves behind a Fire Flower. I could try to get two items, but I'm not going to risk my luck. I need that Ultra Shroom. Never gold one. Oh, the Repel Gel is so good, though. Thunder Ridge. I can't believe I actually had to sell my Joey Pop to get enough money for this. There we go! That's what I want. So now we have to open the pen. And unfortunately, they all run away. I got my Ultra Shroom, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> I need that last recipe! I got a check, though. Oh, sweet. Not filled up on items. Alright. Let's buy some honey syrup. We need to go back here and learn where the last star piece is. I wonder if it's a hidden panel somewhere that I missed. Like in Koopa Bros Fortress or something. Yes, tell me where my star piece is. Alas, at the moment there are no star pieces within your reach. What? Do not give up hope, though. There are some beyond my vision. Trust in your lucky star and you'll find people who possess star pieces. I must give you a full refund for such a poor reading. Please return to me again. What the heck? Is there... Oh, there must be a letter I missed. Hang on, let me check that. All right. I think I found out where the last letter is. And wow. Yeah, it's well hidden. It's very well hidden. Because there are no star pieces in the final area. So first we're going to take a nap. It is in dry, dry desert. And it's not where you might think. It's not just in a random square of the desert. Oh no, much more than that. Much more than that. It's just so easy to miss. Thankfully, we've got some fast teleportation skills. Move it, bandits. Hi, Nomad Mouse. Ah, uh, hi! I did not want that to happen. Forgot about that. Here we go! This is where Colorado's camp was. 
Yep. Muttered a Goompa. Can't get that unless Colorado leaves. So you literally have to come back here after beating the second area. Just to get that. That's a well-hidden spot, I must admit. But it's a bit irritating to reach. Nope, not again. Even out here, we hear stories of your remarkable deeds. Keep up the good work. You're Goompa, correct? You would not believe how much of a pain in the neck this letter was to get. But here you go. Another letter do we deliver? Now what could this be? Koopa Coot? Eh, I have a bad feeling about this, so I'll read it later. It's probably the old Coot's usual backstabbing gossip. He really needs to get out more. What's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? I know you're pretty busy, so thanks for delivering this. Why don't you take this as a token of my thanks? Hey, the last star piece. Yes. Alright, we're finally making the last tasty recipe. Ultra Shroom. Honey syrup. Kind of a boring recipe to say for last. It's the Honey Ultra. Dessert made by Tasty restores 50 HP and 5 FP. Alright, here we come, Merla. We'll get your peekaboo badge. Not that it will help at all. Now. <laughs> This is the badge you basically get if you're like, I don't want a title on everything. I'll get the peekaboo badge. But it takes free BP to equip. It's insane. You can equip half of a power plus with that much. Hey, dude. Give me that. You got the peekaboo badge! Makes it possible to see your enemy's HP. Alright! These star pieces really help round out my collection! Please come back and swap with me some more sometime. Dude, that's all the star pieces in the game. Come on. And something tells me that I should have done this right before ending the video, because I still want to max out my level now. Which means, of course, Amazing Daisy Abuse. Oh, I'll equip the right badges for it. Cool. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be a very, very short video because I'm going to be cutting almost all of this out. So this might be like a 10-15 minute video. 40 star points is always nice. This begins the first of many, many level ups. Let's do FB. <laughs> Alright, second level up. And yeah, you'll notice BP has reached maximum. You can't increase it anymore. It caps at 30. Uh, let's do HP now. <laughs> of course we have 99 star points at this point. Yes, please. There we go. Alright, let's cap out our HP. <laughs> HP and FP cap out at 50. Hmm, thank you, thank you. Can't upgrade HP, can't upgrade BP, better upgrade FP. Alright, it's the last Amazing Daisy fight of the game! And Perikary's been underappreciated this Let's Play, so I thought I'd let him do the finishing blow. 
Go ahead, Paracarry. Shell shot this guy. Woot! Final level up! Give us the last FP. And with that, this, I believe, completes the most boring episode of Paper Mario that I have ever recorded. Then again, it's probably also the shortest given how much of this I'm going to cut out, so... Sweet. We'll return to Toe Town, save, and then, next episode, we will move on to the final world. No, I don't want to talk to you! I never want to talk to you, dude. It's like the owl from Ocarina of Time all over again. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching, and the next episode will be much more exciting, I promise. I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless. Colorful already back for a very quick update. So after I finished recording this video, I realized in hindsight that there were two things I wanted to show off but actually didn't get to. One of them I was planning on showing off, but I just totally forgot about, and the other one I actually discovered a new secret literally like a few minutes after I finished recording the last episode. So I just had to do this like little add-on at the end just to show them both off. I also debated showing off what happens when you kill Wacka, but the thing is I'd have to get a ton of Wacka buttons bumps for that, and I really don't have the space or storage for it, and plus I want to keep poor little Wacka alive because he deserves it. Alright, so first thing... In Yoshi's Village, there's a s invisible block that you can find that has a very, very, very worthwhile item inside. Admittedly, I may not actually get around to using it. I might, but probably not, actually. It's on this beach area. Right here. Nope, not right there. That contains a mystery. That is not what I wanted. That's the one I wanted. It's got repel gel inside. Alright. Goodbye, mushroom. We don't need you. And the other thing I wanted to show off was the playroom again. Because I got the gold credit, but I never actually went back to the playroom after doing so. Maybe I'll do better this time. Hello there, Mario! Welcome to the playroom! Cool, you've got a gold credit! In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to the smash attack for. Sweet. Hopefully this is more skill than luck. Hello, Mario! This is the floor for Smash Attack. Let me explain the rules to you, okay? When the game starts, blocks will appear among the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You'll clear the game if you get 10 of these peach panels before the time runs out. If you hit a block where a fuzzy or bob is hiding, it'll slow you down a bit. The time limit is 30 seconds. You need 10 coins to play. Would you like to try? Sure. Ready to get 10 peach panels? Get set to... Smash! ATTACK! Okay, I like this one much better. This one's actually much more skill-based. Ooh. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Game over! Game cleared! The remaining time is 0.5 seconds, so, well, you get five coins. Please come again. Okay. Was that it? That was much better than the last game. I won't play. Alright, that's probably it. Let me clear out my inventory. And, you know what? I think I will actually go... Uh, last video was pretty short, so I actually think, you know what? I will go to Bowser's Castle in this video. And I think it will be appropriate if Goombario out. He's been with us for the whole journey. And he's been to Shooting Star Summit to hear the plight. I think it's appropriate that he goes up to Shooting Star Summit with us. Oh, this area is still so beautiful. The effects are just so well done. I 
Kind of reminds me. So I want to equip ice power because there are some fire enemies coming up. Don't need ice by anymore. Huh. You know what? Let's try Zap Tap. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up here to Star Haven. We seven star spirits will be waiting for you there. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the star rod Bowser holds. Oh, yes. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Starhaven. This is so awesome! This whole area is amazing. Yep, so Lava Bubbles kind of return here. This is an Ember. Embers are fiery monsters forged from uncanny blue fire. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They may look frosty, but they're actually on fire, so fire attacks won't work. They divide themselves when they're attacked. Keep attacking them, though. You'll get them eventually. They'll probably fight back. Their attacks usually deal out free damage points. Water attacks will work well, so let's beat them before they get a chance to burn us. So you'll notice Mario is electrified now. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. That's what Zap Tap does. When they touch us, they take damage as well. Alright, Cooper. Let's help out. Oh, no, I don't have Quick Change equipped. Shoot. Ooh. Oh, well. I do really... Zap Tap's underrated. I guess you could say Zap Tap's underrated. Alright, now that I've showed off embers, I'm gonna unequip uh, ice power for one. And I wanna equip quick change, so. I do still want Zap Tap, though. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, power bounce. Quick change is more important. Because I'm max level, these guys don't actually give any EXP to me. Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting them again. Sure, why not? Alright, Sushi, let's try your tidal wave. That was awful. That was awful. I unequipped ice power, that's right. Alright, let's try to redeem myself. That's a bit better. The way embers work is if you hit them with, like, your hammer, then they'll lose HP and then they'll duplicate themselves. However, the duplicate will have the same amount of HP that the Ember had went after the hammer attack. Alright, I was going to use spin attack to just instantly kill the Embers. Or just move past them. Yeah, that works. Oh. Hey, look at this. Good afternoon, or good evening, maybe? In Starhaven, you can see stars all the time. There used to be a lot more shooting stars, but that was before the star route was taken. The beauty of this place was incredible back then. He's a Starhaven resident. He doesn't look well. Maybe he knows that... He doesn't look well. Doesn't he know that we rescued all the star spirits? When I first heard that all the star spirits were captured and the star route was stolen, I lost it. I figured this is it. This is the end of the world. But now all the star spirits have safely returned. It just goes to show you you should never give up hope. Also, Chuck Quizmo can appear here.
gives me great joy to hear of the Star Spirit's return. Our only wish now is for the return of the Star Rod. It seems so odd, a star making a wish? <laughs> also, they got a shop up here. They sell some pretty good stuff. Also, life shrooms. Wow, those are cheap. Alright, so I'm going to sell my honey syrup and my maple syrup, because, well, no point in those. I'll keep around the Thunder Age just in case. I'm going to check my Repel Gel. Yeah, that should be good. Because you do get items in Bowser's Castle, so... You want to have some empty slots. Toad House? Heck yes. I'm sorry. Hello, need a little rest? It's not a Toad House, even though it has a Toad symbol on the front. If it's not run by a Toad, it's not a Toad House. You better believe I slept well. So as much as I'd like to stay in Star Haven, we need to get on to the next world. Ooh, this is beautiful. You remember this from the very first episode, don't you? Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. Mario can now use Star Beam! If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah yes, one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. It's a bathtub. Use it well. This is the legendary starship of Starhaven. Bowser's keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard! On to Bowser's castle! We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Cool. Also, one thing that they don't tell you about Starbeam. You can use it on any enemy with a status enhancement, like if they're transparent, or if they've got a defense boost, or if they're electrified, and it'll take that effect away. And, you know, you can use it on Bowser and stuff. Are you ready to take off? Yes. Let's do it! Awesome music. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true. Me too. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. Everyone's making wishes. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake. So and what do I? Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes. Pretty please. Dude, I want to eat shroom cake too. Even if it's got mushrooms in it, it looked amazing. And I don't even like mushrooms. We're coming for you, Bowser. Chapter 8, A Star-Powered Showdown! And that's where we're really going to leave the video off for today. That, wow, that probably doubled the video length. Thanks for watching, I'm Carl Farty. If you tune in for the next episode, we're going to start to take on Bowser's Castle. Have a great day, and God bless.